Thank you for staying with us here in Ibra and Daybreak. Moving to the focus for today, the Nigerian Senate is poised to reconsider the three-month suspension of Senator Abdul Ningi, who had been penalized for alleging budget pardon to the tune of 3.7 trillion naira in the 2024 budget. Senate President Godwill Apabu confirmed the impending review while addressing reporters upon his return from the Inter-Parliamentary Union meeting in Geneva, Switzerland. The move is to review uh, the move to review Ningi's suspension underscores the Senate's commitment to addressing concerns raised by its members, particularly regarding allegations of budget impropriety and accountability. And to have this conversation with us is Peter Shodende. He is a public affairs analyst. Good morning, sir. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. And nice. Thanks for having me. All right. Uh, let's start this way. Um, um, Senator Abdul Ningi was uh, suspended sometime last month. It's a new month. Happy new month to you, by the way. Same here. Uh, for three months. The suspension was supposed to be for three months. And it's barely over two weeks or three since the suspension happened. And now the Senate is looking to review it. Before we get to what could probably have, you know, um, brought the consideration to review the suspension, we'd like to get your reaction to the suspension in the first place. I mean, with the uh, events that led up to the point where Ningi was suspended. How do you react to that? Okay. Uh, I think for me, uh, suspending Ningi uh, is neither here nor there. Uh, because if you look at uh, Ningi, Mm. Uh, the problem started from when he granted a BBC interview uh, alleging that there were two budgets that they at the assembly passed a budget of 25 trillion and uh, the, Senate, the executive is currently implementing the budget of uh, 28.7. But if you remember, uh, the budget the president sent to the National Assembly in November 29 is a budget of 27.5 tr trillion naira for mm. their consideration. And by 30th of December, uh, the National Assembly increased it by 1.2 trillion and passed uh, a budget of 28.7 trillion. So the senators then uh, told the uh, Ningi, we don't know where your 25 trillion naira budget is coming from. Uh, bring that document and bring the 28 trillion that they are implementing, the two documents you are talking about, mm. and come and defend yourself. Uh, at the end of the day, he tried to say, uh, that was not what I meant. Uh, I, I didn't try to say there were two budgets here or, the, here or there. So uh, at the end of the day, uh, the senators found him wanting that instead of you to come in house, let us address issues, you went uh, public. In fact, the Senate president was saying in US, Canada, everywhere everybody is just talking about budget party not knowing that you are the one giving a wrong uh, impression a wrong information to the public that there's only one budget and uh, the national As assembly had increased it from uh, 27.5 to uh, 28.7 mm. so uh, i think the only sign of ningi was uh, giving false information but it, it still does not remove the fact that uh, there were some insertions in that budget that uh, even the National Assembly themselves could not totally prove. And uh, there were clear uh, and outright uh, clarity mm -hmm. about the uh, insertions into uh, that budget, various projects that the executives uh, never put there. So for me, when it comes to Ningi and this particular incident, uh, maybe because the Senate is like, uh, would I say, a coven or a court. Whatever happens here, let's discuss it here first before you go out. Mm. You flouted that rule. Now, uh, I would think you, we, you need to go on suspension. This is not the first time a senator will go on suspension. Uh, it started from uh, Senator Joseph Waku then. He criticized uh, former President Orisha Mombasanjo as being uh, dictatorial in his approach to governance. And... Uh, the Senate suspended him. Happened to uh, our Imo State Senator then. Uh, what was this man's name? Forgotten his name. Arthur Nziribe was accused of financial property about 22 million naira back then and he was suspended. Then Alim Dume, uh, 
the popular Ali Ndume, mm. he went to court. He was at home for over six months. He went to court and uh, the federal court declared that it was illegal, that uh, the Senate had infringed on his fundamental human rights and would be depriving his people of representation in the National Assembly. Uh, he also happened to Omar Gege before he now became the Deputy Senate President. Now we have uh, uh, Abdul Ningi. So for the Senate, for them, it's business as usual. Mm. All right. Um, you did mention that there were some insertions in that budget that yes. have not been properly answered to. And that leads up to my next question. It's not been three months yet, mm -hmm. but the Senate is choosing to review this suspension. Uh, there has been indications out there, word on the street, saying that maybe there actually is something that needs to be covered up real quickly, and three months is a long time to, you know, uh, uh, leave an opening for people to look, look into. So now they want to hush it down and review the uh, three months suspension, probably bringing it back so that they can have an in-house conversation, like you mentioned. Do you agree with that? Uh, okay, uh, for politicians, if you listen to Apavio very well, he said it's a family affair. Mm. And uh, for everything they do, aside looking at it financially or trying to cover information, they also look at it politically. You could see that uh, during these uh, two weeks, I think Ningi was suspended on March 14. During these two weeks, there has been a visit by uh, Nasir El Rufai. There has been a visit by quite a number of people mm. to Abdul Ningi. And uh, parties are watching. What are these guys up to? So before they take things too far, can we quickly douse this tension? That is the political side. There's the other side of... Uh, because Ningi himself, if, if not that, because he, he used to be one of the principal officers, one of the big boys in the Senate. But I think uh, this Ninth Assembly is not part of the big boys. And uh, maybe the sharing formula also did not fail for him. Mm. Then he had to speak out. Because this, this is not the first time. time. Uh, it started during the past years. The Assembly members uh, who were doing the president and said, anytime we get back home, our people will always ask us, we can't see anything you guys are doing. You just go there and uh, you say you make laws and we can't see any project around us. As our representative, at least we must see that we have somebody in Abuja. We must feel you around us. And before you know anything, they started what they call constituency project. Uh, they call it a zonal intervention project or special intervention project, whatever you call it. But uh, back then, uh, during the, I think, the Eighth Assembly, it was a pool of a hundred billion shared between the Senate and the House of Representatives. Sixty billion, forty billion. So uh, the principal officers will take ten percent each. That means principal officers in Senate takes six billion. The one in House of Rep takes four billion, uh, uh, and uh, others hundred hundred million for you to go to your constituency. Mm and do a project. It could be street light, it could be a Greek, it could be computer center, it could be anything. So they are the people who choose the projects they want to do. But you see, over the years, we have found out that just like uh, Mohamed Buhari said in 2018, that the National Assembly is introducing projects that has no business, has no meaning to him, and they are removing essential projects. Uh -huh. In fact, he said in the 2022 budget, he reluctantly signed it. Even this one signed by President Tinubu. If you, if you saw the release by Bayo Nonuga, uh, that in the spirit of give and take, which is a very careless statement. You, you don't do give and take with the commonwealth of the country. And uh, now we have seen that some senators are collecting 200, some are collecting 500. At the end of the day, you find out that absolutely not. Because Bayo was saying... In 20 years, if you have been collecting 100, 100 billion every day, it's over 2 trillion. Can we point to 2 trillion Naira project in all our constituencies as Nigerians? Mm. We cannot. 